Our seventh contestant for tonight is Toastmaster Miranda Stilanaki, and her speech title is Cyprus Calling. Cyprus Calling, Toastmaster Miranda Stilanaki. Hello. Hello. So there we were, my daughter Marita and I, at the prestigious Palace Theatre in Athens. We flew out for two days to watch her idol, ballet dancer Sergei Bolunin, live on stage. We were not the only ones who flew up from abroad to see him perform. People from all over the world came to the theatre, arrived in time, all dressed up. Gentlemen, in suits and tie, ladies in long black dresses, high heels and fair coats. In the foyer before the show, they would all socialize in low voices, light gestures, elegant smiles. They all took their seats on time and the show began on the dot. Throughout the performance, it was utter silence. Not one single sound could be heard throughout the theater. Not one mobile phone rang. Not a single person went to the toilet. When the show ended, the audience would give a standing ovation, would applaud again and again until the curtain call. And when the lights on stage went out, they would all exit the theater as calmly as they had entered. For us, it was a privilege to be part of that audience. The next day, we flew back to Cyprus, and a few weeks later, we went to show to see another performance, this time at Strovolos Theatre. This time, the audience were Cypriots, all dressed in jeans. When we arrived at the theatre, they were standing in the middle of the passage, taking selfies. They would speak in a loud voice. The show was supposed to begin at 8.13. At 8.45, people were still arriving at the theatre. They forgot to put their mobile phones off. So throughout the performance, sounds varied from eating crisps inside the theater <laughs> to people actually speaking on the phone. Mothers would take their small children to the toilet in the middle of the performance, asking the whole row to stand up so they could get out. And by the time the show ended, half of the theater was empty because everyone was rushing to their car. Utter chaos. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Miranda, I am Greek Cypriot, and I am proud to be one. Because despite our flaws, despite our lack to recognize that we, we cannot compromise with rules, despite the fact that we cannot acknowledge that someone else's child may actually be more charismatic than our own, our difficulty <laughs> to understand that arriving at the airport 20 minutes prior to departure and not being accepted on the flight does not give us the right to protest and create a scene on the basis that the pilot is a personal friend. <laughs> Despite all that, we Cypriots are talented people with great potential. I am blessed to have a daughter who is an A-star student, but I'm also blessed to have a son who is not, because it makes me, as a parent, realize that not all of us have the same capabilities, the same talents, the same potentials, and the same perspectives. But we all have the right to being different, just as long as our difference is commended upon. And even though I have failed my maths O-level, not once, but twice, it's easy to understand that, statistically wise, it's impossible that out of the whole Cyprus, I, I'm the only Cypriot who wishes to change this ironic, downgrading exclamation of hmm, Cypriots into ah, Cypriots, to become proud of who we are, to give our best, and to make foreigners speak of us in awe rather than in contempt. So on the days that I lose my hope, I tell myself it's impossible, I think of a great man. Martin Luther King and his dream, his impossible dream 
to change the way Americans treated black people, to make them realize that they deserved to be judged based on the content of their character and not the color of their skin. Well, Martin, I have a dream too. My dream is that every nation is proud of who they are. My dream is that every nation honors their traditions, their history, their culture, in order to make and to create a world of harmony. So that we can make the best out of this world. In my utopic dream world, it is easy to understand that we cannot quite perform martial arts the way Chinese do, or dance ballet the way Russians do, write classical music the way Austrians have, or play jazz better than the black people, produce wine the way French do, or create fashion the way Italians do, make movies the way Americans do, but at the same time remember that we speak the Greek language and should honor our tradition and our history instilled in us by our great philosophers, Socrates, Plato, Epicurus. And we should also remember that we Cypriots have also some other personalities we can be proud of. Cypriots who believed in their dream, like Marcos Bagdatis, and is now a top tennis player. Cyprien Katsari is rated among the 10 best piano players in the world. Grigoris Kastanos, a young boy from Famagusta, who wanted to become a famous footballer, and at age 19 is now playing for Club Juventus. And of course, Pavlos Kondidis, our first Olympic medal winner. It is these Cypriots we should try to resemble and prompt the rest to do likewise. Mahatma Gandhi said, be the change you want to see in the world. Nelson Mandela said, education is the most powerful weapon you can use to change the world. And I would simply like to say that we Cypriots are fortunate enough to live on an island as beautiful as paradise. Let's all work together to become the Ah Cypriots so we can tell everybody in the world in pride. This is our lovely country. Welcome to Cyprus. Madame Chair.